Hey YouTube, what's going on? Mark here from TSC Industries, back in the garage. And behind me, I have our all new 2024 Kawasaki Ninja 500. And in this video, we will be guiding you through the installation process of our TST captive chain adjusters and GP lifters. Now, please note the installation method we are about to show you is Bart guiding you through the process. He does use a pre-production kit that does not feature our black anodizing. This kit by default is a CNC machined aluminum kit anodized black, it does include the GP lifter kit. And if you've ever done any rear wheel maintenance or chain adjusting, or even just trying to lift your bike up on the rear stand, you do know that these OEM end caps can be a bit of a pain. Our captive chain adjuster system completely negates that and enables the user to have a smooth and quick adjustment process while making sure everything remains in place and you're not fumbling over tools or other components. This is a very easy to follow installation process. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and pass it over to Bart and he will guide you through the steps. All right, first step, if you have any spools on the bike currently, please take them off. I would like to point your attention here to this quadrant of the bike. Right here is a cable that is hooked up to your speed sensor. And the next step, we'll be lifting this bike on a padded stand have to make sure not to damage this area so we have to go forward of that and as I mentioned we will need a padded stand so that we can not take up any of the lifting geometry on the swing arm and still manage to get the wheel up all right now I'll drop the cotter pin out of the nut that fastens the axle on once that is off we'll be able to take the axle off and the wheel will come out all right once the axle's out all these parts are free to come out oftentimes in a race setting or at a track day these just start falling out when you try to put it all back together, you have all these moving components that aren't attached to anything. And uh, we should probably be shooting this in black and white with melancholy music and frustrated face, but kind of figured I would spare you guys the PTSD. If you've done this before, you know you hate it. So let's solve this problem. Let's get rid of these nuts off the end caps. Remove the end caps. And now I will use our spring and our end cap. These end caps are the same left to right, so no worries there. You assemble it like this with the bigger end towards the end cap. Washer, nut, nut. You won't really adjust this till the very end when the wheel's back in. So let's get that back in there. We'll do the same on the other side of the bike. Now the actual lifter parts are mirror image of each other. They are left and right and you get the pockets and the logos and text to the outside. As you can see here, we have a slot and a hole for the forward location. We'll grab the two mounting screws that we've provided for you guys. We're gonna go with the forward mount first, and then we're gonna engage the threads on the rear. I'm just gonna have it finger tight for now. We wanna make sure that we get some engagement between the wheel axle and everything together before we fully lock these things down. But as you can see already, this axle receiver within the swing arm stays where you leave it, where you adjust it to. So let's say you adjust it to here and lock it down. It'll stay here. Even if you bump it, once this is locked down, it'll move around, but spring back to where it was, all right? I'm going to get my axle partially through. 
get my brake carrier remounted. Get all these components jiving together. Still loose, and that's why you see it a little sloppy. No big deal, we'll tighten it up. Let's attach our GP lifter to the left side of the bike. I have all my parts in position to start reassembly. Now we do have a tire wedge somewhere around here. I'm not a very big fan, but a lot of people say it's very helpful. I like to use my foot, but we do believe in Pitbull products. So we do carry them. If you don't like to use your foot like I do, and you like to have a wedge under here, we do have those for you guys to pick up along with all of these components I'm showing you. I'm gonna get my nut on the axle, get it snug down a little bit, but leave enough adjustability so I could still adjust all this stuff. At this point, I would like to start tightening down on these adjustment nuts. Chain adjustment is achieved exactly the same as per your bike's user manual. So I'm not gonna shoot a video on how to adjust the chain on a Ninja 400. You guys will have to look that up elsewhere. All right, now that I have some tension in this bolted connection on each side, it's actually helping to keep each end cap in the swing arm. I am now going to turn in these screws all the way. These are M8 fasteners. You can look up a torque spec if you'd like. I typically just get them fastened down like this. If you wanna look up the torque spec for that, it's steel on aluminum M8 thread. All right, all looks good. I wanna put the cotter pin back in. Let's drop this bike off of this stand and check out our new lifting mechanism. All right, let's get this thing up on the stand. As you can see, this is quite a bit easier to locate than the reverse mechanism. The spools actually find the hook a little bit easier. So when you're trying to go fast in a pit situation, these will actually help you get that aim better and uh, get your bike stood up for whatever you may need to do put warmers on, change wheels, whatever. And with that, you are now able to do rear wheel maintenance, chain adjusting, or store your bike into a secure location with ease. I wanna give a special thank you to Bart for guiding us through this process. If you like this product, you wanna check it out, please be sure to visit our website, tscindustries.com. The link to this exact kit can be found in the description below. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with all the new and exciting videos we've got going on for the Ninja 500 or any other bike that does find its way into our garage. And lastly, be sure to stop by our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all username TST Industries. I want to give a special thank you to Bart for guiding us through this process. We hope you all ride safe and we'll catch you next time.